morning. Today, our webinar is on stomach pain and back pain and how the two relate together. Stomach pain can come from esophagus. It can come from your stomach. It can come from your colon. It can come from your bladder. Wherever the stomach pain comes, a lot of times you're going to have some back pain, lower back pain or upper back pain. And the two are related, and that's our topic today. Good morning. My name is Dr. Melody Medley Keith. I'm here in Lakeway, Texas, and we're at a beautiful morning this morning. And today we're talking about a, a subject that is very near and dear to my heart. It's called visceral mobilizations and visceral mobilizations what that is it's actually a technique that a manual physical therapist such as myself can do to someone who has stomach pains and back pain because there's been studies after studies showing Delato in 2015 reported that stomach pain and back pain are interrelated and that with some exercises as well as strength training as well as walking program combined with visceral mobilizations the hands-on technique into the what we call the sphincters your pyloric valve your cecum right those are uh, a those are it's a sphincter of audi those are the ones that m regulate the motility of your visceral organs so today what we want to talk about is a little bit of what you can do at home to help with gut pain and stomach pain and back pain, right? So the, the latest information out there is saying that the visceral mobilizations do help, the hands-on stuff. But it's just been proven over and over again that you need to get out and walk 20 minutes a day, three times a week, right? At least three times a week. I would love it if you got out every day and walked. So by walking, that's going to help your visceral organs. That helps the motility, the exercises of it, right? So the uh, next one, again, postural correction. And this is Dr. Rutu. She's here at Lake White Aquatic Physical Therapy. Yep. So we're going to show you just a few really great postural exercises that we can do to help with your back. And if you see, we have the little half bolster here, and we have it here. I have it set up about bra line, right in the middle of her back, right? So she's going to take just a, a dowel, and she's going to go up. And all the way back and as far back as you can reach and then your counter force is belly button to spine so you're kind of pushing your belly button towards your back as you do this I'll warn you this is brutal so take it slow again you want to do ten of these then you're gonna go all the way forward and try to touch the ground right you see she's got some stuff underneath her feet that is to kind of raise her up because she's a little shorter those of you that cannot touch the ground in a chair like this you've got to have a supportive chair right and just look and so what this does is opens up all of this for those of you that have the GERDs you have stomach issues have pyloric issues you have H pylori any of those all of this will help postural correction all the way back down good and you see how slow and controlled she's doing it don't rush it this is the fun stuff ten of those so the next one that's good root two is again they want us to do abdominal and lumbar strengthening and again I'm doing ones that are sitting so this is kind of a very basic one, but you can get a ball. If you don't have a little ball, get a pillow. Squeeze the pillow and then lift both legs up. Oh, can you feel that? You can feel that, right? Oh, yeah. That is so hard. And again, if you need a little lift, something underneath your feet to kind of help it up, yes. And 
up, squeeze, and back down. Notice she's doing it. Again, this is a difficult one, but this is going to start the process of strengthening that abdominal wall and lumbar uh, core in what we call transverse abdominus is all that lower uh, abdominal work to try to get that stronger, right? Okay, the next one we're going to do, I'm just going to have you hop on the um, vibration machine. So here at Lakeway Aquatic, we have a little vibration machine. And again, the study talked a little bit about what vibration can do. Now, you're saying, oh, Melody, Melody, I don't have a vibration machine. I don't want to go and spend that money to get a vibration machine. Well, guess what? You can use a trampoline and just bounce. See how easy she's bouncing? This, combined with all of the movement through the spine, through the stomach area, through the back, helps to kind of just loosen everything up. There's a lot of good things that vibration can do or trampoline, right? Yes, we'll leave her on there for a while. So again, if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to give us a call. Those of you that would like to come in and try visceral mobilizations techniques and be able to get in there and show what what um, the visceral mobilizations might do to help you and your stomach pain and back pain, come on in, visit us. We're at Lakeway Aquatic Physical Therapy. You can find us on the internet at www.lakewayaquatics.com. Again, if you like our little snapping ours, you like what you see, give us a thumbs up and go ahead and hit that subscribe button because that helps us right and any other time here you get uh, any other time that um you can see that uh if you have any questions you can go online and do it you can look on youtube or you can just call us here at the office at lakeway aquatic physical therapy all right have a great morning we'll see you next time bye, -bye.